Okay, this video is going to explain how a change in income affects supplier demand. So first, let's look at if income goes up. If income goes up, everything else equal, we should be able to afford more of a good, assuming if the good's normal. So if income goes up and the good's normal, we'll see an increase in demand. The increase in demand will cause there to be a shortage. The price will go up, which means quantity supplied goes up, and this quantity demanded goes down, till we reach this new equilibrium where equilibrium price is higher and equilibrium quantity is greater. Now if the good is inferior, demand will go down. So let's say that we're eating a lot of Top Ramen and we win the lottery. Probably not going to eat as much Top Ramen anymore. We may buy spaghetti or steak or turkey burgers, vegetarian burgers, I don't know, what have you. So demand goes down. At this original price, there's now a surplus. So price will drop meaning quantity supplied goes down and quantity demanded goes up until we get a lower equilibrium price and a lower equilibrium quantity. Now if income goes down and the good is normal then we get the same outcome as income going up and the goods inferior. So here we had price go up and quantity go up here price went down and quantity went down so here price will go down and quantity will go down income goes down and it's normal we can afford less of it equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity drop now if it's inferior and say we get laid off we're going to consume more of that good we have to give up some of our steak to survive basically and buy more top ramen so demand will shift right, equilibrium price will rise, and equilibrium quantity will rise. So when you get a change in income, you have to know whether the good's inferior or normal. So use your intuition. Generally, a rise in income will mean an increase in demand, which means an increase in price and quantity.